Hello and welcome everyone. Let's discuss today regarding von Willebrand disease, an important clinical uh, disease that leads to bleeding and coagulation uh, manifestations. So, what are what is von Willebrand disease? Von Willebrand disease is a commonest hereditary bleeding disorder. It is having AD mode of inheritance, autosomal dominant mode of inheritance is seen. So, there could be quantitative or there could be qualitative defect in von Willebrand disease. The key fe uh, feature or the key function of the von Willebrand uh, uh, factor is the GP1B platelet adhesion to the subendothelial collagen. So, subendothelial collagen which gets exposed with injury is adhered to the platelet GP1B uh, complex by von Willebrand factor. So, it acts as a bridge between platelet GP1B and subendothelial collagen. Apart from that, it is also implicated in stabilizing factor VIII. Factor VIII is having a short half-life span and uh, it can be very well cleaved by the proteases. So to keep its uh, lifespan prolonged, the uh, von Willebrand factor must keep it engaged in the circulation. So deficiency of von Willebrand factor is implicated even in the uh, deficiency of factor VIII as well. The von Willebrand disease could be a quantitative uh, deficiency of von Willebrand factor or there could be qualitative abnormality. Quantitative abnormality is uh, having a type 1 and type 3 types. So type 1 is due to mutations where there is a mild to moderate uh, clinical manifestations. This accounts for most common uh, type of von Willebrand disease, accounts for almost 70% of the cases. Type 3, there is uh, deletion and uh, severe um, clinical manifestations are seen in type 3. Type 2 on the other hand uh, it presents with mild to moderate clinical manifestations. There is a mutation that leads to defective assembly of ultimers. So the active form of von Willebrand disease, von Willebrand factor that has been missing in type 2 von Willebrand disease. What are the common clinical manifestations of von Willebrand disease? There is platelet defect which leads to episepsis, easy bruising, pithecyl hemorrhages over the skin. What is coagulation uh, defect in von Willebrand disease? So due to the lack of uh, factor VIII uh, in von Willebrand disease, there is uh, various coagulation factor uh, deficiency related manifestations that it, it could be spontaneous bleeding from mucosal membrane, it could be internal bleeding like GI bleed, menorrhagia, even uh, bleeding into joints could be seen. So we get a combination of uh, platelet uh, defect as well as coagulation defect. Coming to the lab uh, investigations, there is a prolonged bleeding time due to defective platelet adhesion, prolonged PTT or APTT, active pro uh, partial thromboplastin time. This is seen due to factor VIII uh, deficiency associated with von Willebrand factor deficiency. Ristocetin, which is an antimicrobial, and uh, it uh, it causes the con conformational changes uh, in von Willebrand factor and causes increased adhesion of von Willebrand factor uh, mediated uh, platelet adhesion. So, uh, if if uh, there is a von Willebrand factor deficiency, then even after ristocetin, uh, the adhesion uh, that should be seen, increased adhesion that should be seen with von Willebrand factor, that will not be there. So, ristocetin cofactor assay test will be abnormal. So that is an important uh, estimation of von Willebrand, indirect estimation of von Willebrand factor deficiency. Decreased factor VIII uh, C activity can be measured. Platelet count and uh, prothrombin time will be normal. Prothrombin time is a measure of extrinsic pathway of coagulation. So extrinsic pathway is absolutely normal. That's why prothrombin time will also be normal in these cases. So how do how do you treat uh, von Willebrand disease? Von Willebrand disease can be treated uh, with desmopressin acetate. Desmopressin, a synthetic uh, analog that can increase uh, uh, von Willebrand factor and factor VIII uh, C synthesis. So it uh, desmopressin, uh, a kind of a, in, a synthetic analog of ADH, it can cause increased von Willebrand factor and factor VIII synthesis from endothelium. Thereby, it is quite useful. If plasma concentrate or a recombinant von Willebrand factor has also been used satisfactorily in many of the cases. Now let's have a quick recap. Von Willebrand factor deficiency causes von Willebrand disease. Type 1 and type 3 is implicated in quantitative 
vulnerable disease and type 2 is implicated in qualitative type of vulnerable disease abnormal bleeding time activated partial thromboplastin time normal prothrombin time these are the key lab findings in vulnerable disease epistaxis mucosa and gi bleeding are cardinal clinical manifestations plasma concentrate uh, desmopressin are used for the treatment of von Willebrand disease. So thank you for your patient hearing and don't forget to give your valuable feedback. See you all in the next video very soon. So please uh, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.